following is a presentation of ESPN on ABC. On this day after Thanksgiving, Bruins fans file into TD Garden hoping today will be a black and gold Friday. The Bruins come in winners of four of their last five. Today they renew their old six, the original six rivalry against the New York Rangers who are similarly hot. So settle in for this post-Thanksgiving hockey treat. Beautiful family moments conversation and home cooked meals but that was yesterday and then <laughs> black friday i'm a lean meat black friday machine um, um what are we even doing fighting for the last american girl doll the five dollar air fryer well my turkey stuff friends there's light in this darkest of days a red one Get over hype savings. Save we got acrobatic saves. And the talents of the league's top young defensemen are a prettier display than any department store window. The best news? You don't have to body check someone's grandma into a pile of veggie steamers. This is no trendy holiday purchase. This is the gift that has kept on giving for the last 105 seasons, the NHL. So keep it in check this Black Friday. And enjoy the Rangers versus the Bruins next on ABC. And welcome everyone to the Verizon pregame from Sold Out TD Garden. Sold out, in fact, for the 500th consecutive Boston Bruins home game. Tonight, the Bruins host the New York Rangers in the first of three regular season meetings this season. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Sean McDonough along with Ray Ferraro. Delighted to have you with us. What a great way to kick off our coverage here on ABC. It was the first National Hockey League game on ABC since the Stanley Cup Final of 2004. And, Ray, we have a great rivalry that dates back to 1926. Original six franchises. The two teams playing very good hockey so far this season. I think we're going to get a great game today. You have the Boston Bruins who have really started to roll. I know they haven't played very many games this year. The Rangers, their last six games in particular, playing the way Coach Gerard Gallant wants them to play. They're both very happy coming into a, a real nice matchup today. Bruins have had a hard time getting in a rhythm. They've played only 16 games, fewest in the NHL, and leaning heavily, as always, on the perfection line and on their top defenseman, Charlie McAvoy. Well, with David Krejci returning to the Czech Republic after a brilliant run in Boston, the offense even more falls on the shoulders of this group here. McAvoy's had a terrific start, but Marshawn, Pasternak, and Bergeron have been leading the Bruins forever. They've got 21 goals on the season. The rest of their forwards, just 19. And so Coach Bruce Cassidy wants a little more push from the bottom end of their lineup. And Taylor Hall and Charlie Coyle anchor that second line along with a returning Craig Smith who's been battling injuries. Hall's got five goals. Coyle's got six. They're looking for a little bit more offense around that perfection line, which, as I said, has been just a fantastic group of forwards for the Bruins for the past decade. Bruins have been a playoff fixture in recent years. The New York Rangers, meanwhile, have been in the midst of a rebuild. But so far this season, as we welcome in A.J. Malesko at ice level, A.J., they look like a team that's ready to be a playoff contender. They do. And, you know, particularly, Ray, you just talked about it. The last six games, they've won six of their last seven. Uh, we talked to Gerard Gallant earlier, and he said that they started the season slowly. You wouldn't really know by looking at their record, but he really likes the way they're playing right now. They've been particularly good in in one goal games a half their games have gone to one goal but no surprise they've been led by artemi panarin who's dynamic he's creative he's good one-on-one -on -one. he's got he had some good uh, uh chemistry with ryan strome and then of course adam fox reigning norris trophy winner great passer but can finish as well and chris Kreider tied for second in the national hockey league in goals and nine power play goals as well so the three of them will be leaned on heavily tonight The New York Rangers and the Boston Bruins. The puck drops here at the TD Garden in just a moment.
NHL on ABC. Home to the Stanley Cup. Welcome back to TD Garden. Time to take a look at today's Honda starting goalies for Boston. The 23-year-old rookie, Jeremy Swayman, and for New York, Ray Igor Shesterkin might be the best goalie in the NHL to this point in the season. We've certainly been among the very best. The Rangers are 12-4-3, and, and talking to Coach Gerard Gallant before the game, he's like, we won a lot of games early. We didn't have any business being, but Shesterkin won them for us. Puck sent into the zone by Capo Caco, starting lineups on your screen, brought to you by Taco Bell. Matt Grizzlick shot it in for Boston. Jacob Truba back on defense.